first step in visiting another BNI chapter is determining which chapter you'd like to visit. There's two main ways to do this. The first, if you have a general idea of where you want to visit, you can go right into BNI Connect and hit Chapter Shortcuts. Under Chapter Shortcuts, you should see Visitor Registration and Attendance. We'll go ahead and click there. You'll see you can add a visitor registration. Click on Add Registration. And here you have an option to register somebody else to visit a chapter or register yourself. We're going to go ahead and click Register Yourself. Now, when you're visiting another BNI chapter, if you're not a sub, it's important to mark here that you're a guest. If you're substituting for someone, then you'd click Substitute. At this point, you can determine what chapter you'd like to visit by clicking on this down arrow, and it will, you'll be able to filter by country, by region, by chapters. Again, this is a good way to schedule yourself to visit a chapter if you already have a good idea of what chapter you want to visit. But if you're not certain where you want to visit, I suggest taking a trip to our good old friend Google and typing in BNI and the state that you'd like to visit a chapter and let's try Florida. Now what's going to happen is you'll see several different websites come up with different regions within Florida and you can check out the different ones and there'll be several BNI chapters within those. If you're just kind of searching around that's one good way to do it. Let's try taking a look at a BNI in my state of Oregon. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first link here. That's going to take us to the BNI region of Oregon and Southwest Washington. And you can click on chapters. You'll get us to a page something like this. And here you can kind of start narrowing down which chapter you'd like to visit. If you're just searching around, you're not sure, you can say, well, let me look at the cities around that area. And for me, I'm going to just say, I want to find something in the city of Portland. And I also would like to meet in the morning. You can choose that. You can choose if you want to uh, go to an in-person or a hybrid meeting. You can even choose the day. I'm going to go ahead and choose Friday. So I've narrowed it down just a bit here. However, if I want to leave everything blank, I would click find. It would give me every chapter in that region. But I've narrowed it down a bit. Let's see what we come up with. So two chapters meet my search criteria Friday morning in Portland at 7 a.m. I'm going to choose the first one here. Just click on that. Now I can actually see the members that are in the chapter. So why would I want to see the members? One of the things we talked about in our last video of why you'd want to visit is when you're visiting a chapter, one good practice would be to visit a chapter where there's not someone already in your industry. Now, I realize for many industries, that's hardly ever going to be possible. And you can determine whether you'd like to visit different chapters or not, because sometime someone could be in your industry and they're still a good referral partner for you. For me, I like to find a chapter that doesn't have someone in my industry. So I can take a look here. I can also determine the different types of industries that are here and see if these folks would be good referral partners for me based on who their customers are going to be. Once I've determined this is the chapter I'd like to visit, I can click right here on visit this chapter. Make sure you enter the same email that you normally use for your BNI Connect website. Don't forget to say you're not a robot and click on you read the policy. Once you click submit, since I'm already logged into BNI Connect, it took me directly inside of BNI Connect to the page we looked at earlier, except now it's already chosen the, the BNI chapter that we were looking at and all my information is entered here. All I need to do here is choose the visit date. And so I'm going to choose a date of the 8th of July. Now right here, you'll notice that it tells me that that chapter is meeting online that particular day. You'll notice that the ones in red, if I click there, it's going to tell me that's an in-person meeting. For this one, I'm going to stick to the online one. Choose the 8th right there. The next thing to do is choose my category. I'm just going to go ahead and you can type it in and as you're typing it in, it should pull something up just like that. Make sure you check on guest. Of course, if you're substituting for someone, you could click on substitute. So I've got everything filled out here on the top. It was already selected that I'm registering myself to visit another chapter and I will click on save registration. It takes me right back to this portal. Now I've just received an email. Now the email you receive, will have a link in it to register for your BNI meeting. 
via Zoom if it's an online meeting. So it's very important that when you get that email, you click the link, which will take you to the registration page. Once you're on the Zoom registration page, make sure you choose the same date that you originally chose in BNI Connect. Once you're finished filling out the information and you click register, you'll receive a second confirmation email. A second confirmation email will generally have the Zoom link that you'll use to join the meeting. And that's how you register yourself to visit another BNI chapter. Next time, we'll cover how to register yourself to visit another BNI chapter using the BNI Connect mobile app. Thanks for watching. Oh.